Okay, so I want you to tell me if you can see any jump cuts in this video I'm about to show you. Comment if you think you see them, right? I mean, we're covering everything from thumbnail psychology and platform specific strategies, audience research, content repurposing, funnel building. That video was full of jump cuts, but what's really cool is that it's not immediately obvious. You can't really see it right off the bat. This is all thanks to a new feature included in DaVinci Resolve 20 called Smooth Cut. It's an AI update to the smooth cut effect that already existed that seamlessly blends your frames together to make it look like there's not even a cut whatsoever. It's really, really, really useful. Check this out. Right here is my cut. And if I just play this, ecology and platform specific, you can't hardly even see it. And this is has such a broad use case. I'm really excited to show you the original footage and how it works. So when I'm recording these videos and I have a script, I have two monitors here, and I'm sure you can see them at the bottom of the frame, but I'll be looking at this monitor here to look at my editing software, um, what I'm working with, and I'll be looking at this monitor here for my script. So sometimes when I have a long line or something that I can't remember off the top of my head, I'll say something here, look my eyes this way, read the script, hold where I'm at, and then continue to pick back up. That way in editing, I can stitch it together and make it look seamless or just have that hard cut there, depending on what style you're going for. But let me show you an example of that with that footage I was just showing you earlier. I mean, we're covering everything from thumbnail psychology, see how I'm holding it and I'm just looking my eyes right here, platform specific strategies. I look at the next thing, wait and go, audience research. I'm totally reading in between here, content repurposing, funnel building. So you get the point. There's a lot of time in between these things and I'm holding my position so that I know exactly where I'm gonna pick back up. Watch how easy it is to apply this effect, okay? So now that I have my cut right here, I'm gonna go to my effects panel, smooth cut, and just drag this here. And let's start by making this a little bit lower. Now for the sake of getting your effects and your transitions to render properly, if you go to your settings here, scroll down, uh, make sure you have your render cache settings all set up. I have a video about this already. I'll link it up above for you to check out, but I have these two selected automatically cache transitions in user mode, automatically cache composites in user mode. So that way, when I go to playback, render cache, user, it automatically caches these things because I wasn't smart before and it wasn't caching this transition. Now that I'm in user and I have that setting checked, it caches. So let's see how this looks. Ecology and platform specific strategies. The cut isn't immediately obvious there to me. Let's watch it again. Psychology and platform specific strategies. It looks like I'm just raising my, my hand. Psychology and platform specific. It looks like there's no cut and it's really amazing. Let's, let's do the next one. So you can see my last frame on this clip isn't all that different from the first frame on the next clip. So this is a perfect candidate for smooth cut. Let's try it. I'm gonna drag smooth cut in, lower it a little bit here, let it render cache. Let's see how it looks. Strategies, audience research. That one didn't look as good. I'm gonna shorten it a bit. Strategies, audience research. That one looks better. You gotta kind of play with it and find the sweet spot for each individual or particular cut. Let's watch it again. Fix strategies, audience research. You can't really see it. And if you're just watching just to watch, unless you're pixel peeping or just completely nitpicking, you're not gonna see this. Let's keep going. So last frame of the first clip, first frame of the last clip, not all that different. Take my smooth cut. Let's shorten it quite a bit. Let's see what that looks like. Search content repurposing. That one looked a little funky. Let's try to shorten it even more. Content repurpose. There you go. Search content repurposing. Search content repurposing. If again, if you're really nitpicking, you might be able to notice it, but this is one of those things that's really nice to have in your back pocket so that when you do have something that looks seamless, there you go. It, lo like, it looks great. Let's keep going. Let's try the last one, I believe. Again, the frames aren't all that different. We'll take our smooth cut transition. This is so baller. All the new AI effects that DaVinci Resolve included in its latest update are just crazy. Bundle building. This is incredible. Purposing, funnel building. All right, so let's watch the whole thing from start to finish now. I mean, we're covering everything from thumbnail psychology and platform specific strategies, audience research, content repurposing, funnel building. It looks like there's no cuts. And I think that's just absolutely amazing that this is just built into the software. This isn't like some sort of paid feature or anything like that. And I'm not paying monthly for it because I don't have Adobe. This is just super, super cool. Real quick, I just wanna pop in here real fast. You can get 25% off everything on my store for life. If you just sign up for the email list on my website as well, there's a whole tab for that. Maybe even a pop-up if you haven't been to the website.
website in a while. Check that out. You can get a lot of great discounts on a lot of great products. So that's all I have for you for this video. I just wanted to demonstrate uh, this transition effect here and just how absolutely killer it is and how useful it's going to be for a lot of your projects, I'm sure. Uh, if you learned anything, leave a comment. Let me know what you feel about it. Uh, like this video for the algorithm and do not forget to subscribe to the channel because we got a lot more videos like this coming up. Got a lot more videos in the pipeline and I can't wait to see you in the comments of all of them. Thank you so much for watching.